श्री आदि बद्रीनाथ ब्रजमंडल राजस्थान इंडिया Adibhadrinata is situated one and a half kilometers southwest of Alipura. The natural scenery of this place is very beautiful. There are mountains all around here. Nestled in the heart of this exotic landscape is the famous shrine of Adibhadrinata, dedicated to Lord Nara and Narayana Rishi, the twin incarnations of Lord Vishnu. Lord Nara and Narayana are the predominating deities of Bharata Varsa and are worshipped eternally by Narada Muni at Bhadrakashrama. It is also mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam that Krishna and Arjuna are both incarnations of Nara Narayana Rishi. Mentioned in Sri Bhakti Ratnakara, this Satakanda Ura is a most charming place. Here we see the merciful Adibhadra Narayana. He is served most wonderfully within this forest, sitting on this fragrant slab of this enchanting mountain. Here Krishna brought Nanda and the other cowherds and removed their stress by showing them Narayana. How to get there? You can go by taxi from Vrindavana, it's far away and will take one and half hour to reach. At this place, Lord Nara Narayana Rishi, who is a strict Nyashtika Brahmachari, is engaged in severe penance for the benefit of the entire human race. Once, the demigod Indra, who is the king of heaven, became extremely envious of the extraordinary tapasya being undertaken by Nara Narayana Rishi. Due to the fear of losing his position, Indra the king of heaven, sent many beautiful dancing girls known as Apsaras to seduce Nara Narayana Rishi in the hope of making him fall down to lusty desires and abandon his severe penance. The dancing girls from heaven arrived scantily clad before Nara Narayana Rishi and started to perform their highly erotic dance performance. But Nara Narayana Rishi could understand this trick and created many rivases from his left thigh, this destroying Indra's pride. While dancing before the great Rishi, the Apsaras suddenly saw many more beautiful girls appearing from the body of Nara Narayana Rishi, and their beauty easily defeated the beauty of the heavenly Apsaras. Seeing this powerful display of mysticism, and having failed in their attempts to seduce Nara Narayana Rishi, the Apsaras immediately returned to Indra's abode in the heavenly planets. When one enters the Sri Adipadranath Mandira, in the front of the temple is Taptakunda. Within the temple there are seven deities in a row. After taking Darshan in the temple, we went inside the forest around one kilometer by walk to take Darshan of Sri Gangotri and Sri Yamanatri. I highly recommend devotees to go inside the forest to go with someone local who know the area or taxi driver to guide you and take you the temples because the path does not have clear directions you may get lost in the forest. The forest is beautiful. The local Pujari showed and explained all the important places of the area. Sri Neel Kanth Mahadev Temple Sri Lakshmanagava Sri Gangotri Sri Yamanatri Sri Alaknanda Sri Naranarayana Mountain Sri Ganesh Mountain
लक्ष्मण जी और इसके लक्ष्मण गुफा आप बता रहे थे यहाँ पर यहाँ पर लक्ष्मी जी ने कब किया था हजार वर्ष अच्छा दिन सरोवर अच्छा यहाँ कार्तिक मास में तेती सुकूट की देखा स्नान करते हैं अच्छा तो ये धारा आई है उधर साइड की वो गंगोत्री धारा आई है अच्छा ऐसे घूम के बीच वाली धारा जमुनोत्री धारा है अच्छा आगे से घूम गया उधर साइड की धारा अलग नंदा सरस्वती है अच्छा उस तरफ से जो आएगी वो अलग नंदा सरस्वती ये सामने पर्वत की धारा नारायण पर्वत है अच्छा हाँ इधर का पर्वत नर पर्वत है अर्जुन अच्छा तो सामने गणेश पर्वत है ऊपर देखो बीच में मस्तक है हाँ और पत्थर वाली है नीचे की फूल है अच्छा ये दोनों पर्वत कान है गणेश पर्वत अच्छा उसके कान है अच्छा और ये जो पत्थर वाली रेखा देख रही है ये लक्ष्मण रेखा बोलते हैं लक्ष्मण तपस्या की थी अच्छा इस जगह पर लक्ष्मण जी ने तपस्या की थी अच्छा ये गंगा मैया है जंगा मैया अच्छा भगवान के चरण है भगवान के चरण में दर्शन कर रहा है देखो ये दर्शन में ऑटोमेटिक इसी शिला पे भगवान खड़े हुए अच्छा और इसी शिला पे एक महीना रुके भगवान अच्छा तो हाँ जब चार लामों को आवाज किया भगवान ने जब चार लाम यहाँ खड़े हुए अच्छा एक महीना इसी शिला पे खड़े हुए अच्छा अच्छा पाद लाम पाद ये भगवान की चरण चरण अभी बन मंत्र कृष्ण भगवान के Pujari also showed me the sila or stone with Lord Krishna footprints. Lord Krishna standing on this sila called all the four dam, char dam. One day Nanda Maharaja, Krishna's father, had a great desire to go on pilgrimage and take darshana of Vadranita Dhamma in the Himalayas. According to the Vedic custom, the four Vaikunthadamas in India, Bharata Varsha, should be visited by all religious people at least once before they die. These four Dhammas are, Bhadranada, Mwaraka, Jagannathapuri, and Rameshwaram, and they represent the planets of Lord Vishnu in the spiritual world. The Dhamma of Vrindavana represents the Lord's supreme abode on the planet called Goloka Vrindavana which is far beyond the realm of Vaikuntha. However, Krishna did not like the idea that his father should leave Vrindavana and therefore asked him why he should take so much trouble to go all the way to the Himalayan mountains, when the very same Bhadranita Dhamma was present in Vraja. Krishna then brought Nandababa and all the Vrajavasas to this place and declared its glories before them, saying that this was the original Bhadranita and was thousands of times more spiritually potent than the Bhadranita in the Himalayas. Lord Krishna was conveying the message that one should never leave Vrindavana, because Vrindavana itself is the greatest of all the holy places within the material universe, and every other holy place in the universe has its original form in Vrindavana. After taking Darshan we decided to walk further inside the forest to take Darshan of Dev Sarovar, during the month of Kartika all the demigods come and take bath in this Sarovar. देव सरोवर गंगोत्री के ब्यूटीफुल माउंटेन्स देव सरोवर We also got the opportunity to meet and hear from a very renounced Vaishnava, he likes to live here because it is very peaceful to meditate. 
He was living in this forest and someone constructed a small room to stay at this place. He has to walk long distance to get basic necessities like water, grains etc but likes to stay here because it is peaceful to meditate. Whenever I upload new video, I update homepage glories of Holy Dhamma of my website vatikindustan.org and also under menu. You can also press the YouTube subscribe button to receive notification. I am thankful to my subscribers and viewers for their support in my small devotional service for Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Sri Sri Guru and Sri Sri Goranga.